What's up, horror fans? It's Danny. And Charlotte. And we are here from the Lasser cast to talk about our favorite thing to do at the playground. Seesaw. seesaw. Did you seesaw? <laughs> I saw saw. I saw saw too. Wait. No, we saw saw one. Did you see Saw 2? No. This is the worst movie to talk about. It is so <laughs> annoying. But we are here to talk about the 2004 film Saw, directed by James Wan, written by Lee Winnell, uh, from a story from Winnell and James Wan. And this is a movie, uh, really a small little independent horror film, that would really change the game. Uh, this movie, along with Eli, Eli Roth, who you love, Eli Roth's Hostel, uh, would basically bring in the torture porn era of American horror. Uh, and of course, while Hostel kind of fizzled out after one excellent sequel and then a second sequel that not a lot of people saw, the Saw franchise continues to the point well that's the original to the point where in two weeks on may 14th spiral from the book of saw debuts and here on the lasser cast we have a lot of fun stuff coming Charlotte and i are going to talk to you about the first saw film pete is going to be here and he's going to talk about another film in the saw series he told me today, I think he's going to talk about Saw 6. I didn't even see Saw 6 yet. But the Saw films are all on HBO Max, with the exception of Jigsaw, which I believe is streaming now on Peacock. And coming up, we're going to be doing a live reaction of Spiral from the Book of Saw. And then we're going to do a Saw franchise ranking later this month. We just did it with the Alien franchise for 426. So we thought we'd piggyback off of the new Saw sequel and, and do a Saw franchise ranking coming up. Anyway, we're two and a half minutes into this video. Let's talk about Saw. What did you think of this movie? I thought it was really good. It's confusing. It is confusing because... all of a sudden you just wake... She just... He, he, he looks like a girl when he's in the bathtub. Wow. He, he wakes up in a bathtub in an escape room. It's pretty much like an escape it, room movie. It is kind of like an escape room. If only they had a horror movie called Escape Room. Oh, they do now. You didn't see that one yet. Oh. But yeah, th that movie didn't come out until much, much later. Uh, yeah. Saw does actually feel very escape room-ish, especially mm -hmm. with all of the like clues that... Jigsaw is the giving walls. them, yeah, and there's poop on the wall, and he has to reach into the toilet. Okay, okay, um, yes, anyway. <laughs> but you you mentioned it's confusing, and it is confusing not just because of the whole escape room solving the clues aspect, but because this movie bounces around in timeline. You are watching. You don't know which is the real time. Yeah, the, there's it's, like three it, different timelines in this movie. Uh, I, I we're, we're going to get into spoilers. Um, this is a movie that is very old. We are up to, I believe there's seven or eight films in the Saw franchise with Spiral from the Book of Saw coming out soon. Uh, so I think that's a, a nine total is going to be. So spoilers for the original film. But we meet Jigsaw um, at various points. He's a cancer patient in the hospital. Um, Dr. Lawrence Gordon is his doctor. Dr. Lawrence Gordon is also yes. in the escape room bathroom with Adam, who's played by the writer. Did you know that? That Adam, uh, the guy who wakes up in the bathtub, was the writer of the movie? Really? Yeah. He's the director or just the writer? He's the writer, but he also directed uh, the new Invisible Man movie that just came out. And he won the Fangoria Chainsaw Award for Best Director and Writer for The Invisible Man this year. It was my number one horror film of 2020. You just made no sense. Anyway, so at the end of this movie, it was really weird. Oh, well, do you want to just go ahead and spoil the ending? Shush. So anyway, so at the end, the 
guy whose jigsaw gets killed by Adam. Wait. No. No. <laughs> Adam kills someone. Adam, oh, so we think the movie, remember, okay, so let's just set the stage. I know. They, <laughs> this is why we have to film the reviews immediately after we watch the movie. <laughs> yes. Adam and Dr. Gordon wake up in this dirty, disgusting bathroom, and there's a dead body in the middle of the floor. Remember? Yes. Okay? Yes. They think they have it figured out that Jigsaw is actually uh, this uh, hospital orderly named Zepp, who is played by Michael Emerson, who you might know from Lost. And it's him who you remember Adam Can't killing with the toilet. With the toilet seat. Toilet. Uh, That's yeah. who I meant. But who is Jigsaw at the end? What happens at the very end? The dead guy on the floor was actually yes. alive. And at the ending, you should have seen my face. I was like... <gasps> it's, there's very few moments as a parent where you get to sit and enjoy. Just Like I actually turned away from the movie. I've seen this movie a number of times. And I just watched her reaction. And it was like a... Why is he moving? What's happening? Wait a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's alive. Could it be? <laughs> like, it was just like, you could see her processing. What? <laughs> he was alive? So here's a, here's a fun story. You know, Lori, my mm -hmm. friend, Lori, ghost yeah. girls. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, La Lori, who's been on our channel. Uh, she's one of the ghost girls from ghost girl greetings. Uh, I was with her and, and a few other people, and we were in the movie theater watching this movie way back in the day. And I don't know why, but just as like almost, like, almost like a joke, right before it happened, I whispered to her, I bet you the dead guy gets up and it turns out it's him. And she goes like, shut up, what are you talking about? And then he did it, and she was so mad at me. She was like, you ruined it for me. I was like... I didn't know. I just took a stupid guess. I couldn't believe it. It was a, It was like one of those out of nowhere, like total guesses. But the one thing that this movie has, that ending is an all time classic horror ending. And you add in the score, and I'm gonna use the DVD to tell you who did the music here. Oh, Be I like that. I like yeah, that picture. I have to, Charlie Klauser. Klauser. Yes, music by Charlie Klauser. The score in this freaking movie, the 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 saw theme is unbelievable. You know, that some, music playing. Some stories don't have a happy ending. No, this movie certainly does not have a happy ending. And with Tobin Bell, the actor who plays uh, Jigsaw, with him uttering that you know immortal "Game over" as the door shut. It's almost. Very similar to another movie we just watched with an, uh, a famous door closing scene. <laughs> we have to do a video about that. <gasps> it also involves the word saw. Well, chainsaw. Oh, we just watched Texas Chainsaw. Texas Chainsaw? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The Texas Chainsaw Massa Saw? <laughs> yes. Anyway. Yes, I'm just. You know, hitting it out of the park parenting-wise. She's 10. She's seen The Exorcist, Saw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing well. Uh, this movie also has just <laughs> legendary, iconic scenes. Shawnee Smith, who plays Amanda, who would become a series regular uh, for the first, I believe, the, the, the original first three movies of the series. Uh, the scene where she has to get out of the bear trap. Oh, that was cool. And she has to dig the key out of the guy's chest by killing him, but then she's able to get it off right before Ooh. it. That is an iconic scene. Um, you mentioned that you thought this movie yeah. was really gross and gory. Oh, I thought you were going to mention what I was going to say. Oh, but what's interesting is this movie is so... What I love the most about this movie is... It's such a great psychological film because it convinces you as the viewer that you are watching one of the most disgusting movies ever made. Because from the minute you're in that room and they're chained to the wall and they find those like, you know, really rusty hacksaws and those hacksaws shatter 
and and Lawrence Gordon, Carrie Elways, says to Lee Winnell, he wants us to saw through our feet. You're, it's in your head now. They're going to show people sawing their leg off. But they only showed him sawing his leg and then like a drop of blood falls out. Yeah, like th that, that scene, uh, they literally, he puts the chain, he puts the hacksaw to his foot. He maybe, you see him go once across, a little bit of blood, and then it's all off screen. It's, it's, it's you know what this reminds me of? It re reminds me of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. No, uh, I think it's gonna, since, like, it's, like, the biggest and, like, one of the most weirdest movies ever, I just feel like there was gonna be so much blood, but there was just, like, this much. Yeah. I, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I mean, we could talk about it just a slight bit. It never ceases to amaze me how little blood is actually in that movie and how you're just trained to believe you are about to watch the sickest movie ever made. You even said the dinner scene at the end was... Oh, yeah. Well, we should, like... Yeah, let's get back. But, yeah. Um, Saw is... I, I was resistant when I first saw this to call it an all-time classic, but I think any film... Like Friday the 13th, uh, where the original isn't the greatest movie. It's any, not. Any movie that sparks a franchise that is still going over 15 years later, uh, it, you, gotta, you gotta respect it. And I'll do it more. I think this movie is a good mystery. I think it's a great whodunit. And it is a great horror film with some Truly iconic moments. Okay. Tobin Bell made a name for himself in this movie. Can I just say Go that ahead. Um, if people out there who are in love with Saw, just like me, you guys should know the scene where there's this guy in the flat in Lawrence's flashback that there was a guy with covered in gasoline or like Ooh. thing, and he was set off with candles everywhere. And can I just mention that that guy looks like Ash from Evil Dead? <laughs> also, I feel like that scene was really weird because he just ends up burning himself. Well, he was covered in like this Vaseline that like type substance that was flammable, and and he had to find this code on the wall. And if he if the candle got down to a certain, yeah, but that's the thing. It's like you think you're gonna see these just. You see, to me, the reason that, that Saw 1 and Saw 2 also, which you haven't seen yet, but Saw 2 also hold up, to me, better than the rest of the movies in the franchise. I actually stopped watching this franchise after Part 4, I believe, 4 or 5, because Part 1 was all psychological. It, it shows you a little, but it doesn't show you enough. You made a great comparison with Texas Chainsaw. I don't know why you're acting like you're possessed right now. But the later sequels were all about, we're just going to gross you out. We're just going to show you the most disgusting, complex death trap scenes. And I think it got away from what the original was trying to do, where the original was using those traps uh, to like torture you psychologically. Uh, to the point where at the end of this movie, Carrie Elways, who is Wesley and the freaking Princess Bride, mm -hmm. you, yeah, you didn't know that? Mm -mm. Dr. Lawrence Gordon? Mm -mm. Oh my God. He, you, exactly. You can't even tell <laughs> at the end of the movie that that's... I saw that too long ago. And and the look on uh, Adam's face, Lee Winnell's face. Lee Winnell, great writer, great director, not the greatest actor, but when he's watching Dr. Gordon saw his foot off, you believe that that is exactly how you would act if you had to watch somebody in the same room as you saw their own foot off. Uh, oh, that reminds me of a... Yeah. Rem, rem, that reminds me of audition. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about that. Yes. So that is our reaction to Saw, the original film... Uh, the movie that started it all. Can I just say that also the girl, after she had like that bear trap off of her, she kind of looked like the maid in Pet Cemetery who choked herself to death. Oh, oh, okay. 
I know you're talking about. Do, like when did they you were watch, talking to her? Did you watch the uh, the 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 stand? The first one, the yes. original. She was Julie Laurie in the stand. She's the one that like tries to shoot Nick and uh, Tom Cullen oh. as they're running away. Yeah. Uh, Shawnee Smith. Love Shawnee Smith. She, she, she should be in more things. Uh, if you watch Saw 2 and 3, she's in those movies as well. So um, we'll see. Saw. We'll see Saw 2. Okay. All right. Bye. Uh, stay tuned uh, to the Lazarus cast because, like I said, Pete is going to be reviewing another film in the Saw franchise all leading up to Spiral, the Book of Saw, on May 14th. We're going to have a uh, live discussion about that right after we watch the movie. And then we're going to do a Saw franchise ranking coming up this month on the channel. So, so should I, like, watch all the movies? Well, I'm going to rewatch parts Can two, I three, and four. in one of those videos with you, Pete? Uh, if you watch all the Saw movies, then yeah, you can you can do your own ranking and rank them with us. Hey. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna have a ten year old daughter who watches eight Saw. I'm gonna movies. be you when I grow up. Yeah. I'm already you. All right. Well, Danny. Charlotte. Lasercast. Peace. <laughs>